Hello to everyone who's going to catch this on the replay. Um, <laughs> this is kind of spur of the moment going live real quick. I told you guys I would and I totally forgot about it. So um, we're going to do some stamping today. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for people to hop on. It was kind of last minute, so I don't know who will make it. So we will see. We'll wait just a minute. In the meantime, I'm just grabbing some. Hey, Sharon. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Siri, stop. I need to reset my Siri. She stopped. Goes off all the time. Oh, let's see. Hey, Vivian. Hi. Up on Calico Hill, what was your first name? Hello, Heidi. Welcome. So I was, we were watching a movie together and uh, Lex and I started cleaning up in the kitchen and I was like, hey, what's today's date? What's today? And everyone's like, Friday, Kathy. Okay, nice to meet you, Kathy. Welcome. And uh, they were they were like, oh, it's Friday. I'm like, no, no, it's Thursday. <laughs> like, I really thought today was Thursday. I know we did not have Thanksgiving dinner today. Hey, Dana, welcome. So glad you can make it. Um, and I was like, oh, no, I was supposed to go live. And they were like, what time? I'm like, 7. They're like, well, you're only an hour and a half late. So anyways, I went on the Facebook group and I was like, does anybody want to go on? So we're just going to go spur the moment. Um, I thought we could make some background paper with tissue paper and stamps. And I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but I can show you a cool technique. I do not have, I don't have matte gel medium on my desk, but what I do have is white glue and I could water it down. So I think we can make this work. So um, first off, <laughs> how was your Thanksgivings? Did you guys have a good time? Did you have a lot of turkey? Is Thanksgiving one of your favorites or not? Or anything you guys wanna share about Thanksgiving? And I'm just pulling out some Christmas stamps that I have. I think that might be like the extent of it that I know of. I think I'm going to pull a couple of his other ones that aren't. Um... Yeah, I think I'll pull these too. Did you guys all get together and do like big family things or are you guys all like remote or what, what's, um, what's the dynamic there? We actually usually do it with, um, friends and this year it was just the four of us and Dave usually, he does the turkey, like he gets up at four in the morning and stuffs it and starts it and whatever and this year he wanted to do two turkeys. So we did two small turkeys and one was cooked inside in the oven and the other one was brined and then smoked outside in the smoker. So I am not a big fan of turkey, even though he like adores it, like he's obsessed with it. So um, I just, you know, whatever. Everyone else seems to like it, but um, the smoked turkey was, a lot better than the regular one. I've got to get, I'm going to grab my uh, block. Okay. You guys are being so quiet. Is everyone sleeping? It feels like it's midnight, right? Because when the, the time changed, it seems like it's so, so late now. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do, 
and I just figured we just, this was something, an easy project that I had on my, like a Thanksgiving, our kids are scattered all over the country, so just your husband, yourself, yeah. Yes, leftovers are kind of like the best part, because then you don't have to do, you know, you do all that prep work yesterday, and then today you're like golden. So, um, I made this, I, I was with David, who doesn't always hang out with me all the time since he's a teenage boy. And so um, he and I made like Auntie Anne's copycat pretzels and they came out pretty good. I've made them before and they were better, but these were, they were pretty good. I think I kind of messed something up in the, the temperature. I don't know. Anytime I can get together with my family is a favorite time. Oh yeah, that is very nice. Um, we don't have anyone here. My family, I do have family in Louisiana, um, but um, we've never gotten together with them. And so, um, anyways, that's a whole nother uh, story. But, um, so it's, it's just us here. Um, most, our family is all, the immediate families in Florida. So, um, and I don't think they did much this year. So it's kind of like weird right now with, you know. Um, oh, so what I was saying was I like to, actually, I think I have some. I'll show you guys. Um, if you've ever seen this collage paper from Tim Holtz. <laughs> I know. I can't believe you're on here. I thought for sure you were sleeping. I don't know if you heard me, but I was asking the everyone, hey, what day is today? And they're like, Friday. I'm like, no, no, no it's Thursday. It's got to be Thursday. And uh, they were like, no, it's Friday. I'm like, no, I said I was just going to go live. I totally forgot. So anyways, we're just going to do some stamping. But um, if you guys have seen this collage paper, um, which speaking of Lori, she had lost a tub of this um, in her room for like a long time. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to kind of recreate this with just some tissue paper. And then um, you need to use permanent ink for this. So all the rangers are permanent, I believe. And Lee and I were talking and I told her the same thing about bedtime. That's hilarious. Um, And so we're going to kind of... Um, do the same thing. The other one that works is like the stays on. That one's stinky though, but that one works. So you want something that's not gonna budge with with water. So, um, you know, if you look at the collage paper, oh, I've never even opened this. It's kind of, <laughs> yes, that's my life. It's kind of like, you can kind of see, it's just like haphazardly like stamped. And then it goes, this is the the pattern and then it repeats. And um, and so we're just gonna try to kind of emulate this. You know, I'm not exactly, obviously, I have different stamps, but we're going to make something like it. And then you can use it to collage on your pages. You can, we'll do maybe like a tag or something like that. So we'll just do, I'm gonna cut this down, I think. And we'll do like a smaller piece. That way it's not so daunting. And I need a mat. Yeah, I asked my husband, and he's like, those that know, he's a workaholic. So um, this is actually the first year that he's like been off like he's usually always working so um i mean he's off for thanksgiving but like he was kind of off yesterday he wasn't off but they didn't have a lot going on and then he's off um he was off today hold on he was off went ah uh, he was slow wednesday off yesterday off today and then for the whole weekend and even when at his old place when it was like that, we were still getting calls and he was still working. And that was really bad, this cutting job. But anyway, so um, I asked him, I was like, hey, do you think that I should, I should go on? And he was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was 
like, okay, I'm going on. And then I posted in the Facebook group, Vivian said yes. I was like, okay, well, let's do it. I just needed one confirmation. I'm gonna turn this over. Joanna, since you're the stamp expert, the stamps are permanent, but if you stamp like on the silicone mat, it doesn't stay, right? Whereas I think that like the stays on will stay on the mat. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that's true somehow. We're gonna use this gray because we know that my black's still dried out. And I have another one downstairs, but it's downstairs. So let's start. Let's start with, oh, let's do this. Let's add a couple of these little Frappuccinos. I can open this. We are making some collage paper with tissue paper and stamps and some kind of like permanent ink. In this case, I'm using the, um, Archival. Uh, archival will kind of stay in the silicone mat and definitely this. Oh, yes. The stays on is ridiculous. It's staying like, and it stinks. Okay. I'm not the best stamper, but for this particular project. Hey, Karina. We're, it's your afternoon and today is Saturday for you, I think, right? Um, I think that you want to do the matte side, not the shiny side. Usually you have the two sides. So I'm going to just pick. So you, we got you at a good time for us. It's like, it's Lori's bedtime. Half of the, half of everyone's going to be falling asleep. And then I think I'm gonna just do another one here. And I know this isn't Christmas, but um, Frappuccinos are like always Christmas. Right, Lori? I say you should all be in bed, yeah. <laughs> we. I was supposed to go live at seven and um, I feel like I need to, to clean it off. Sharon, you do? Oh, I think, Lori, you like it, right? Somebody else I know likes it. It's like the Sharpie. I, I'm not me. I am not. I'm really bad with certain smells. Like if they're like really toxic-y smelling, I'm not good with those. Lori's watching TV. <gasps> Lori, how dare you? So Lori and Lee are chit-chatting, and Lori's watching TV. Yeah, she's probably watching The Housewives. Oops. Oh, that was already open. I did that to some of my stamps. I op I just cut a slit up at the top so I could just grab them out, and, of course, I've forgotten that, and it hasn't worked out. I'm going to see if my black works. I like the gray, but I think the black would be better. <laughs> TV in bed. <laughs> Glory. And she's got me muted. She's like, she's just on to say she's on. She's like, I came on. Priorities, Lori. Sleep never wins. Oh, that, I think that's better. It's still not black, black, but it's cute. And with this, there's no rhyme or reason. This is kind of like a collage board where you ha it's fun afterwards to see what you came up with. And did you see that, Joanna? I am not, I'm not rubbing it on the ink. Oh, you like the gray? Cool. I have... Of course, I, um, like years ago, what's, there's a brand and they were like, they ruled the scrapbooking world for a while and it's not stamping. Oh, maybe it is stamping up. 
And they had like all these stamps and stuff. And I ordered like a whole kit. It's like all the colors. And um, I barely ever used them. But they're all still like almost every single one I've ever like when I've tried them. And I'm telling you they're old. Like like 10 plus years old. And um, when I've tried it, it's been... It's been fine. I'm going to go off the page with that one. Oops. And I have like all different colors and stuff. But I think they are not permanent ink. They are um, like it's a lot of colors and stuff. But they are um, whatever pigment or what. I don't know the difference. But they're, they move when water touches them. I'll do one more. I need to move this stuff. And I'm just adding this piece of paper on the bottom in case I go over the edge. That way it's it just marks it here and not on, on anything else. Am I moving the camera a lot when I'm doing that? Is it making anyone nauseous? I'm going to go ahead and start adding some like letters and words and stuff like that. And then we'll kind of go back and forth. When I'm like this, I'm like right on top of the microphone. So hopefully I'm not like busting anyone's eardrums. That one like stuck. I saw a TikTok yesterday about a um, how to peel potatoes. And I wish I would have seen it the day before. And... Apparently, which I haven't tried it out, but I'm going to kind of demonstrate it. The, um, you know, the potato peeler, it's like, you know, concave or whatever. And it's got the two blades, you know, it's like, like an oval. Anyways, the lady was saying that you hold the potato like this and you do this around the edge and it'll peel it. So you're going back and forth like this in this motion and not like this. Did anybody else know that? I did not know. Oh, and I saw another lady. She, she did not peel her potatoes. She put them in, like she bo uh, boiled the potatoes in water and then she, um, took a baking rack or a um, a cookie like cooling rack and she takes she puts it on top of a um, bowl and then she just smashed the potato through the peel stays on the top and then the potato not only does it go through the grates but then it gets it gets chopped up so it's like one step closer to um, you know being mashed and I was like, Hello. If you guys aren't on TikTok, I actually highly recommend it because I think there's so many cool things. It's not all like dances and, and stuff like that. Okay. Let's get closer. But I thought that was like a really good tip of if that works. And I kind of messed up. My mashed potatoes are usually like the star of the show. Um, and I messed them up yesterday. I They were like, I overbeat them. I didn't know that was a thing. And I was trying to make them smoother. And they came out like kind of runny. So I don't know if I added too much liquid or... Oh. 
you do leave the peelings on. Are you using like russet potatoes, like brown potatoes, or do you use red? Um, I just started posting on TikTok, like, but it's the same stuff that I post on, on, um, that I've posted anyways on Instagram. I just, my daughter's been like, you need to go post on, on TikTok. And so I finally did like a couple days ago for the first time. Um, everyone's been nice so far, so we'll see how it goes. I didn't know if that, if there was a market for that or not, or so, um, brown or golden Yukon. Yeah. Okay, well, no one's paranoid about the TikTok since the China. Yeah. <gasps> Kimberly, welcome. Did you get a chance to tell Lawrence? Because I know she had posted in the group that um, she wanted, she was working, and so she kind of wanted something to do. And so I don't have her on Instagram, or I couldn't find her anyways. And so um, if you don't mind telling her that we're on, and we are making collage paper using, um, I'm using some stamps, archival ink, and tissue paper, and we are um, stamping on the, uh, the mat side. Um, so Karina, I just started, so no, no worries about the, um, about the typos. I can't even really tell. Um, yeah, it's too early to tell. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I'm not really putting music on it, so it's just ASMR. So it's just, like, the paper ripping, and they're kind of more into that st stuff. And, like, I've seen a lot of it, and I was telling my daughter, I was like, you know, because on TikTok, I mean, on TikTok, on Instagram, I post with um, with music on top of it. And so she's always like, oh, you should post without music. And I was like, I don't know if Instagram's the, the place to do that. Um, and so... I like that about TikTok that I can that I can do that. This one's been open, but I know I haven't used it because you can you can tell. And I don't think I'm gonna put this one. I've been making more houses, alter them so they aren't houses. Oh, cool. Um Yes, it is easy. I worked at a call center for like just a little bit. I actually, <laughs> we moved to, to California. Um, oh, I did. I have used this. Um, when we moved to California, I was like looking for a job. And it was back when like you looked like there was no, like really jobs weren't online. It was through like the newspaper or like headhunters. And so, um, I found this job <laughs> and said it was like marketing or something. And when I get there, it was a collections call center. I didn't last very long. And they were all like, what in the world are you doing here? Because I was like, <laughs> it was terrible. I actually, we had an account that it was timeshares in Puerto Rico. And when they found out that I could speak Spanish, they, of course, put me on that account because they needed someone. Well, anyways, there was no timeshare. It was a total Ponzi scheme, and we were trying to collect on it. And, of course, I was, like, telling the people, hey, you know, do not pay. <laughs> like, get an attorney and do something. So I ended up getting, like, a cold, and I never went back. I called in, and I never went back. It was, like, a really horrific time. And why was I talking about that? Uh, oh, because we used to have to type not using any vowels. So like really would be R L L Y. And so, yeah, so I can, I can decipher. Um, oh, um, yeah. And Joanna, ASMR is like just the noises. I don't, so there's people that do ASMR and they do like eating and they'll like, Like that, so you can hear like like sensory, hear everything. I'm not doing that. I'm just posting the video that you guys see on TikTok with no, I mean, goodness, 
on Instagram with no music. So it's just like the paper tearing, the scissors cutting, the, the sewing machine, you know, like the noises that it, you normally hear. But there's a lot of ASMR stuff. So like this would be, like that would be. But I think my kids were saying like, you have to have a, a better, like a good mic for that. It's like a specific mic that picks up all the, the noises. I don't have all that. So what was I going to do? Okay, let's add, let me see if I can add some of this stuff. That one, I think this one might work. I have other stamps, but I cannot get them right now. So we'll just do with what we have. And I will show you one on a tag. Why in the world would people want that? Um, <laughs> Karina, um, I don't know. So the first time that I saw someone eating on YouTube, ASMR, I was like, what in the world is that? And then I watched it and I like loved it. And there's ones that it's like slime. And it's got like the, they'll paint the slime with like a nail polish in a color. And then, so like, let's say it's a little square and it looks like a piece of bubble gum, like the old square bubble gums. And they'll say it's like blue and they'll say, what do you, what color do you think that is inside? And you're like, and they'll say like yellow or green. And so, you know, you're just playing along and you're like green and then they, they and it opens up and then you see if you're right. <laughs> But I don't, I don't know, but there is something like kind of cool. I don't know. My son hates it. So if I have it on, I'm like, look at these people eating. They'll eat like the craziest stuff, like, like taco, like corn dogs with Cheeto dust on them. And some of them are weird. Like some of it can get a little, um, Mm, I don't know, it gives me like a different feeling, but like, mm, this is not for me. But as far as like the paper crafting stuff, I love the ASMR of that. Yes, journaling ASMR. There's some ladies that do like really, really good um, journaling at ASMR and like it's everything like the stickers peeling and and it's almost like you put it on in the background and don't like I don't know you're not like glued to it but it I don't know it's oops sorry didn't mean to hit that nails on a chalkboard yes no Kimberly it's not like that so like if I hear someone chewing next to me it's not good but if someone's like like, I don't know. It's just different. You have to look it up and see what I mean. Even though, like I said, there's some weird stuff out there. So just like, you know, go with caution. Uh, there's a YouTube, less cargo paper, and she wraps books from her store. And you fall asleep. Oh, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to go write her down. Because sometimes, you know who I used to always put on? to put me to sleep and not because she bores me at all because I adore her and she's just got the prettiest soothing voice is Allie Brown and if you guys don't know her she's really awesome she sings she's a Christian and she does um she does more journaling stuff so she does um like traveler's notebook journals and then she does um art as well hold on let me see so it's L-A-S car dot. Okay. You guys see how I wrote on one of my little pieces of paper? <laughs> Barkley's not in here, so you guys don't get to hear him on his bone. Oh, thanks, Dana. It's, or is it, oh, is it Don, Donya? Did I say that right? Oh, it's Donya. I know that. That's like ma'am, right? Like Mrs. Or like it's a, a rev uh, revered. Is that 
I don't know. I think that's how you say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, people chewing in real life is not, not great. Yes, Allie is, is really awesome. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm so glad I came on. Um, let's see. I have ink all over my fingers. You guys see I have no nail polish on. It was like all chipped and I took it off right before. It's so funny because I use the acetone that I have for my glue. And I use that to take um, the nail polish off. And um, I was like, mmm, it smells like glue. Chewing is not great. <laughs> I do speak Spanish, but it's trabado. So I just said it's... Um, Oh, how do you say that? It means like when you, it's, uh, yeah. not that it's not fluent. Like I speak with an accent. It's funny. I'll um, speak to people like in real life in Spanish and they'll answer me in English. Like they don't think that I'm speaking Spanish to them. <laughs> it's really funny. For a long time, I just wouldn't do it because then, then I'd get self-conscious and I'd start saying the wrong thing. And I was like, oh, I sound so dumb. And um, now I've like kind of gotten like, okay, nobody cares. And I know there's some people that that's their first language. And so it's a lot easier. It just comes faster. Oh, wait. Not, no melting polish. Nope. Um, wait, I went to Black Friday shop at Joann's and Lucker Scrap Store near me. I just discovered it on Tuesday. Oh, how fun. Was there anything good at Joann's? Do not say Tim Holtz stuff because I thought about it. We watched that Ryan Reynolds, um, let me grab one of these. Um, that Ryan Reynolds new movie with, look at this, with, um, actually, hang on, I'm going to go get some, um, hand sanitizer, but the new Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell movie on Apple TV, it's called, like, something spirited, or, I don't know, um, but, um, it's, it's a kind of, um, what's that, what's the show with the Scrooge? It's kind of like a, a take on that. And anyways, the point that I was getting to was that they um, show a scene in the mall from the 80s. And I guess there was Joanne's inside the mall. And I was like, oh, that would have been, that would be fun to have a mall that had like other stores, just not just shopping. Um. 50% off. <sighs> is it still or is it just today? And are they still open? <laughs> Can someone look to see if any of the Joann's in Fort Worth are open? <laughs> oh. Oh, this one's really cute. Man, I'm, even though I don't need anything, so I really shouldn't, I didn't need to go and I don't need to go. I do not need to go. But usually whenever Tim Holtz is on sale, that's when I pick it up because other than the field notes, and that's because Lori, who's not listening right now, um... She was like, oh, I'm going to get the field notes. And I was like, well, I need the field notes too. And so we ordered them. Literally got them the same day. and But I got mine first. Oh, I have to tell you guys something. Yes. Uh, oh, let me go back. But Ranger had an amazing sale too. Open till 9. Well, too late. <laughs> <laughs> in my Grinch voice, too light. Oh, that's so awesome, though. Yeah, the field notes are really great. They are 
just very versatile to use. I would, yeah. All right, anyways. Oh, I think this would be cute. It's kind of like candy cane. Oh. I was like, why is that not sticking? Okay, I know that they make some of these that have like lines on it. So that you can keep it straight, but. Try not to move the camera, but I kind of need to push down. Yeah, ladies, let's look it up. Is it online too? <laughs> People need to shop. And I will tell you guys, when you go to Joann's, if you do not have the app, you need to get the app because anytime I'm in there, even if the price says something, I scan it. So all you do is on the app, it has like a little, where the search bar is, there's like a little, um, you know, like the QR code little symbol and you just click it and it opens up your camera. You have to allow it to take pictures and whatnot. And then you can scan the item and see if what the actual price is. And it'll be the price that it rings up at the register and a lot of times it's different and like cheaper. I actually got the, um, the paper washi tape from Tim Holtz for like a dollar, two dollars, something like that, like super cheap. And But this was a long time ago. What did I say? Oh, no, never mind. I did not say anything. I was thinking that I wanted more of the, like, the black, so. Try that one. Oh, it ends tomorrow. Okay, cool. They'll probably be sold out. Did you guys just hear that? Barkley just, oh, it's upside down. Barkley just um, barked from downstairs he's gonna need a, a haircut and he's so yucky without his beautiful hair in his face but I'm a terrible mom and I don't ever brush him because I'm doing this instead and I'm like yeah I don't have time to brush the dog he's having a fit down there sounds like he's out front Oh, the linen washi. Yes, it's so nice. So nice. And it's really versatile. Like, it goes with a lot of stuff. All right, let's get... I'm going to bust this guy out. This one I, I don't think I've ever used. And these aren't even... I think these are like... Oh, this isn't even open. I think these are like, um, what do you mean your purchases on your dashboard, Joanna? Doop, doop. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna do this guy. Oh yeah, these are like, like um, like I don't even know, like um, foam. Yeah, that's what it, they feel like foam. I'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. I feel like it's gonna look like a blob. Whoops. Sorry. That was ASMR for you. Yeah, that's kind of a fail. Let me try the leaves. Oh, this is like kind of really weird. Oh, 
Oh, that one's, that's not bad. Oh, too bad I can't flip it. And that one looked cute like a wreath. Okay, hold on, let's see. If you click on the coupons on the app at the top, has your PC code that you can scan. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think I knew that. Thank you. Let's try this one. I don't know how I feel about these. They're really weird, the texture. That one looks like an Easter egg. So I am a very visual person and that's why I don't use a lot of stamps is because, so for example, with planning, I don't know if I, hold on, let me see if I have some over here in my planning stuff. And I'll tell you what I mean. Okay, so like these girls. These are, I think, yeah, they're, I don't know why they don't say it, but they're for um, Happy Planner. And... They came out and they're super cute. Like you couldn't get them. And it, I was really into planning when I was in Michigan. And so I got them. But the thing is like, see how cute they look here. But when you stamp them, they're just black. And yes, you can color them in and stuff. But I don't know. Something about that messes with my my brain. Like, like I need. And I get it that you can just do it. But I don't know. Something about my brain's like, no. Uh, these are kind of growing on me. Ew. Joanne smiles. I had no idea. Okay, let's see. I wish I had script. I'm not gonna crawl around. Well, let me see how far. Okay, I think I can reach some of them. Okay. okay. The other thing about stamps is you have to like put it all away and when I'm in the middle of something, that's why I like kind of a project like this for stamping because you can just do a bunch at once and then um, clean up after. And look how terrible I am. I think I've used paint on this, so this might not even work because I was, I use them mainly for mixed media. Um, We'll see. We'll find out right now. I love a good script. It kind of worked. They're not great. That's funny. This looks like almost um, Hebrew. Okay, this one has it too. Let's try this. That one's better. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that use rewards. You know, the other one is McDonald's has an app and you can get stuff like 
really cheap or like even free things if you go to McDonald's. I still have never used it, but we don't go there that much anymore. I used to go all the time. Okay, I think we're, we're good. So let me grab a little bowl or something and some glue, water and glue. So I'll be right back. I got these little sets of ashtrays. I think they're ashtrays. And they even are like have the, I don't know if you can see the initials, the monogram underneath. And that's what I've been keeping like my little goodies on my desk. And that was the first estate sale that I went to. And they had, oh, I got too much water actually. Um, They had these and... Lexi was like, Mom, they're so cute. So I was like, okay, well, let's let's get them. But I didn't know what for at the time. And they were sitting on my desk, and I was like, oh, that would be good to use. Let's... I think that for like Mod Podge, it's 50-50 glue water. I can't really see what I'm doing, so we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. Yes, no stamps. You know what they do carry, the ones that are like this, hold on, I think. The one that has a stencil and a stamp in it. But they do not carry like the... Um, and you know why I think? No, those are Stampers Anonymous too. I was thinking it was because it was Stampers Anonymous, but... I don't know. The one closest to me doesn't have that much stuff, so they never, like, get new things of his. The one that I think I did, like, a video, a reel, when I was in Georgia, it's, I think the city is called Kennesaw, and it's, like, one of the largest Joannes, and it was so awesome, so awesome, and they had, they had a ton of stuff at that one. I'm going to grab one of those, and we'll see how it looks. I think, I think I'm going to paint on the tag and then put the paper over it, and we'll see. We'll see how that works, if it's good or not. Oops. The cool thing about the collage paper, too, is that you can see through it. Sorry to move the camera so much. What? Oh, okay. I didn't know that that was their line at Joann's. What's Wendy Vecchi? Do I need to know that? Is it a... Ooh, don't use those scissors. Hmm. Oh, well.
And you could wrap it in the back if you wanted to. And it's cool because you can still see. Oops, did you see how I did, did that? I rubbed off the part of the paper. And tissue paper is so forgiving with um, with collaging because you can just like tear it right off. But isn't that cute? And then you can layer on top of that. Um, we can, let me think of something else that I, here actually, let me grab one of these. Oh, you know what? Grab a time card. And with printables, you have to be careful. Just make sure if they're inkjet, I think that they can, um, oops, they can bleed. It's this way. Um, she's a designer like Tim. Oh, I've never heard of that. Okay, I'll have to, let me finish this and then I'll write her down. I wonder if I know her, but I didn't know her name. And if, speaking of Tim, do you guys follow Seth Apter? He's amazing as well. And if you haven't, if you don't follow him, he's got a video of his um, like apartment and studio space in New York and in Manhattan and it's what dreams are made of oh look how cute since it's a um ashtray it's got <laughs> it's got a place for the for the cigarette but in my case it's the paintbrush and you don't have to smooth it out it can be um oh and see how you can like just peel that away I'm getting this glue everywhere. And Seth Apter also has like distress, well, they're not distress sprays, but they're his sprays. They're a little different. I have not used them, but um, there's a YouTuber, Robin, I'm gonna butcher her name. I think it's Mc, McClendon, Mc, if anyone knows, you can type it in the, the comments. But anyway, she does um, really fun art tutorials and stuff. And she, I don't know if she's a designer for him or, or if they're friends, but um, she's shown some of his products. Yes, she is good. There's a lot of very talented people. I have to be careful with, um, sometimes with YouTube, because I'll get like sucked in and then I don't do anything. And I did uh, for a long time. I think that's what I did when that dries. I'm like, where did I put that tag? And so this is gonna have to dry. I can't do anything with it right now. It's like flimsy. Yes, I know Vicky. Well, I mean, I don't know her, but of her. Yes. It's very easy to do that. So when I lived in California, we'd go up to Big Bear and do scrapbooking retreats. And I was like the only one that did nothing. I wanted to go shopping and go out, get food, do pretty much do whatever other than scrapbooking. And that was like before I had kids and stuff where like I could say, oh, I needed a break. It was just Dave and I, but um, <laughs> that's what I would do. But I think I've changed that now. Like I think that um, 
I could definitely be more like doing stuff. And especially if I'm like teaching stuff, then obviously that keeps me more involved. <laughs> That's the way it works. I'm a big believer. I, Lori's already passed out, but um that's like Lori, that's how she learns. And like, yeah, that's, that's totally, that's what it's there for. And, you know, not to go on a rant or anything, but you know, nobody, like I haven't invented anything, you know what I mean? And I'm sure like I've seen something that I'm doing 20 years ago, I could have seen in a scrapbook store. I could have, you know, you know, got an idea from a movie I was watching or whatever. And so um, I believe that like ideas, they're just recycled and then they move on to you and you'll use them and recycle them. Someone else will see it, use it and recycle it. And so I think that that's really awesome. And I really do think that's the way that, that we learn. That's the way we learn music. That's the way we learn writing, math. I mean, you know, um, you have to do what somebody else did first and then, then you can have your own ideas and, you know, spin off from there. But, oh, that's so awesome. Is it on the live? That's me. Wait, what? Is Wendy the one that does all the painting? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm so glad Lawrence isn't on this live. That's me completely. I want to buy and buy and buy <laughs> Yes. That's awesome, Joanna. I hope you get to do that. We we'll have to share our love of it. Exactly. Um, Lori and I know each other from from Instagram. We um just scrapbook together and Lori posted, she doesn't remember this, but Lori had posted a meme and it said something like, um, calling yourself a Christian at church like is as useful as calling yourself a car in a garage. Like it, it doesn't matter what you call yourself. If you're not that you're not, you know, like something like that. And I thought it was so funny. And I commented and, um, she had done, actually, let me rewind a little bit. That's when I knew like, okay, we're going to be friends, but she had done a tutorial on YouTube. If you go to her YouTube channel and it was doing, I'm going to see, I'm going to scan my room real quick. See if I have mine. I don't. I have no idea. I actually, I think I gave mine away. Um, she made this like pedestal thing. And if you guys want to do one of those, I think we could totally do that. I think we need to work together to get on um, um, StreamYard so that we can be on the lives together. But she, um, she did this pedestal. And I was like, oh, that is so good. Like, I don't really, I don't like Halloween or anything. I never have, like, since I was little, I've never, it's just not my thing. And hers was Halloween and I still like adored it. And so we kind of became friends like that. And then we have, I have another kind of Facebook group that I kind of took over for a friend who had it and wasn't doing anything with it. And then I just kind of, after, um, once we moved from Florida, it kind of like went to the wayside. And then when, once we moved to Michigan, then, you know, it was like, forget about it and like all the, and then moved here. And so within those like three years, I kind of stopped really making a bunch of stuff. And so, um, anyways, um, so I, I, it's just like sitting there, but anyhow, um, she and I went live on that group and um, we did a like craft with me and she was supposed to be kind of how we've done Elevate where she, it was supposed to be her camera too, but her reception at her house was not good. So we just chatted and stuff and we just got to know each other like that. And then um, I was in town and, you know, I had talked to her and told her that there was always a possibility of us moving here. And so then finally, after I was here, I don't think I was here that long. We met at a Tuesday morning, like, um, like their warehouse or something. It wasn't really a warehouse. I don't know why they call it. It was like their, their headquarters is there. And we went to this, it was a bigger store, I guess. And we met there and we just, um, went shopping and went to lunch. And then we've met a couple of times and we've only seen each other since I've been, so I've been here for two years. I think we've seen each other like four times. So we were saying it, we're not that, we're about an hour away and it, it's not that far, but the, she's on the other side of 
I'm on this side of Dallas. She's on this side of Dallas. And going through Dallas is, like, not my favorite. The drivers are very aggressive and stuff. And so um, that's kind of what keeps us from seeing each other more. But that's how we knew each other. And we've been friends ever since. Yes, exactly. That's the... Oh, somebody didn't get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was like, a, you know, you, you need to have fruits or what, you know, just because you say something and, you know, anyways, and you guys know, like in the South, it's more of a tradition thing than a, <laughs> sometimes than, than a heart thing or a relationship thing. So, um, so anyways, it just struck a chord with me and, um, and so, yeah, we've been friends ever since, and we get along just really well. Lori's very, very easygoing and, like, um, kind of go with the flow and just very sweet and stuff. And we just attracted, like, magnets. So, um, and so it is a blessing that she's close by and that we liked a lot of the same things. And, and our husband, we were saying our husbands need to meet soon so that, and I think they have a bunch of stuff in common, so the, the, it'll be it'll be good. Um, and now that Dave's not working like he was working before, we have the opportunity to do that. So but anyways, that's, that's it. So move in the middle of y'all. Yes. Yes. Lori's channel is measure twice, cut once. No measure once, cut twice. And that was the other thing is like, we both, we don't like to measure. We like, or, and that was another thing that we had. And she had said something once on a video that she doesn't have good spatial um, recognition. So like if she's leftover, she doesn't know if she needs a Tupperware this big or this big or this big. And I don't either. Like I cannot visualize that at all. And so that was another thing that I was like, hey, me neither. Like, yeah, we we're the same. Um, yes, you are very welcome. Um, yeah, but as long as it's not in Dallas, like maybe under, <laughs> like underneath Dallas, not to have to go through. My husband's like, it's not a big deal at all. And I, when I lived here, when I was younger, I was like, I love Dallas. I did not like Fort Worth. It's really weird here. So you hear Dallas, Fort Worth and everyone knows Dallas, Fort Worth. When I lived here before, it's not so much because we have a lot of people here like us now that aren't from here, but it used to be people from Fort Worth stayed in Fort Worth and people in Dallas stayed in Dallas and they didn't cross over. There's like, I think a river that separates them maybe. And it was like very like Dallas, Fort Worth. Now it, I think it's muddled, but um, I was definitely like a Dallas person. I was like, I love the city, the hustle bustle, the, you know, all that stuff. Um and now I'm like, no, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that when I'm on the highway, cars are like, nyo, nyo, you know, just going past. And it's very uh, stressful to me. And I used to be, when I grew up in Florida, I used to be like an aggressive driver because that's how it is down South Florida. It's very New York um, influenced. And so you cut people off and yell at people and stuff. And I just, I do not want to be like that ever again. I, I was stressed out. I stressed everyone else out and I don't like that. And so now I, where we live, it's all like 35 mile an hour roads and I'm happy. And it's funny because when we were at tennis one day, one of the, the moms was like, oh, you don't strike me as someone who drives slow. <laughs> I was like, yes, I do. I don't like, I don't have to drive. Like I can drive fast, but I just, I don't like I don't like what that brings out and whatever. So anyways, now that you guys have got my <laughs> dissertation of my likes and dislikes. So I'm so glad I was able to hop on. I'm so sorry that I missed the the time frame. I thought you guys were had all said like Sunday when we were on our call last time. And so I think in my head I was like, oh, I have a few days. And then I honestly did not remember today was Friday. So um, but anyways, I'm happy that you guys were able to hop on and we'll definitely do more night ones. Cause I think that there's a lot of people that really can't during the day and stuff. So, um, so we'll mix it up. I think we'll do, I'm going back and forth about that project that I, um, I think we'll do it. We'll just, I'll just, 
we'll just do it. I'll get you guys the supply list this weekend and we'll make that little ornament on, on Tuesday. So we'll meet at Tuesday at one and we're gonna make a version of this. This was like the prototype, but we'll do something like that. <laughs> yes, wouldn't that be awesome? That would be, she's got such amazing, I mean, she changed a lot of what we see now and what is popular. Like she totally um, came up with that, like the farmhouse style and stuff. As far as I know, like that's the first time I had seen it and it just went crazy. She's just has such a, I mean, they're just so nice, <laughs> right? Like their whole family, they're just so nice. And so, and she has a really beautiful eye for design. That would be cool. I know she's got like a, there's a big thing in Waco. Like she's got like a, well, I don't know if it's hers or theirs or whatever, but it's like a restaurant and then the store and, but I've never been down there. So we have friends that visited and went down there, but I haven't, have not gone, but we definitely need to get together and we need to do a trip. One of the things Lori and I were talking about is a trip to Canton because we were saying like, I know for me, Dave does not like that kind of stuff. He doesn't like going to, to flea markets and stuff like that. Where Or like he went to the one estate sale and he was like, it was really sad. I don't like it. Like, I don't want to go back. And um, he was like, I think about our stuff and like, you know, people going through it and like, oh, this is junk. And, you know, it was just so anyhow. But I think a trip to Canton would be a lot of fun, like to do a retreat where we get together and do stuff and then one of the days go shopping because um, you don't want to go do that by yourself necessarily, you know, and a lot of us don't have someone else to go with. And so if you have a group of friends to go and meet and whatever, that would be a lot of fun. And I know my friend Tanya, if you guys don't know her, I think she's been on one of the calls, Let's Design Creative. Um, Tanya Samuels, and she's amazing, amazing. And she's, I think, going to be doing something similar to that. So um, when I find out, I'll definitely spread the news. So if anybody um, wants to go, she's going to be teaching down here. So that would be so much. Oh, I would love to go to Round Top. I've never been there. Oh, the silos. Yes. Oops. I almost reported you. I'm sorry. Um, definitely. They revitalized the city. And just like I said, like, they're just like visionaries, like, you know, like a lot of what we do now is, I think, um, influenced by, by their designs. And mostly she gets, the, I guess, cause she's the designer. He's more of like the builder, but, um, but yeah, they're pretty amazing. So, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice getting to talk to you guys. I'm glad that you took a little time out of your day to come um, hang out. And we'll definitely see each other Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard. And we will at least start this. We might need to do two parts. So it might start on Tuesday and then go to Thursday. We'll kind of play it by ear. And I'll get you guys the supply list this weekend. I'll post it on my stories. So make sure that um, if you don't have the bell turned on for notifications for my Instagram, if you turn those on, you can go into it and you can customize so that it'll tell you anytime I post a story, a reel, a post, whatever. And you can customize it to whatever you want to know about. And then it'll tell you anytime it'll give you a message on your phone. And then that way, you know, that I, you know, I posted on there. So oh, when is your sale, Joanna? By Vivian. Oh, I'm so sorry. It we it was literally last minute. I totally forgot today was Friday and that we were going to that I said we were going to hop on instead of yesterday. So, um, bye Karina. Um, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard tomorrow. And before I hop off, just um she's let me see. It's the same name on Instagram for you guys. Okay, so tomorrow Joanna is having a sale 
And um, it's going to be, I'm guessing, Christmas, Christmas stuff, like decorations and stuff. And it's going to be at 3 p.m. And it's all things that she makes, I believe. Uh, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard on her Instagram account, which is Vintage Baby 63. So if you guys want to check that out. Yes, Christmas. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So, yes. All handmade in the USA. <laughs> So yeah, you guys have to go uh, check her out, send an alarm so that you remember to go check out because I think her stuff goes pretty quickly. So um, bye, Kimberly. Thank you. You guys have a, a wonderful night. Um, be blessed. And I will see you guys over on Instagram and then back here on Tuesday. Bye.